Graphene Oxide, Safe Removal from the Body. Hello, viewers. Today, we're going to delve into a fascinating topic that has sparked a lot of interest recently, graphene oxide. Specifically, we'll be discussing whether there are any natural or medical methods for safely removing this compound from the body. What is graphene oxide? Before we talk about removal methods, it's important to understand what graphene oxide, GO, is. It's a compound derived from graphite, similar to the material used in pencils. GO is a single layer of carbon atoms arranged in a two-dimensional honeycomb lattice. It's used in a variety of industries due to its properties like strength, flexibility, and conductivity. However, concerns have arisen about its potential impact on human health if it enters the body. How does graphene oxide enter the body? Graphene oxide can potentially enter the body through various routes such as inhalation, ingestion, through skin contact, or even via medical devices. GO has been researched for use in a number of medical applications due to its unique properties, like drug delivery systems and biosensing. However, inappropriate or excessive exposure may cause some health issues. Can graphene oxide be removed from the body? Currently, there are no specific medical or natural methods known to actively and safely remove graphene oxide from the body. Research on this compound and its interaction with the human body is still relatively new, and it is a complex field. While our bodies do have natural processes to eliminate foreign substances, it's unclear how effectively these processes can deal with GO. What can we do? Given the lack of specific methods to remove graphene oxide, the best approach is to limit exposure in the first place. If you are working with GO in a lab setting, it's crucial to follow safety protocols such as using protective equipment and handling materials correctly. If you believe you have been exposed to graphene oxide, seek medical attention immediately. Medical professionals can provide guidance based on your symptoms and exposure level. In conclusion, while there are no established methods to specifically remove graphene oxide from the body, it's vital to limit exposure and seek medical help if exposure occurs. As research progresses in this field, we may gain further understanding and potentially develop removal techniques in the future. Remember, safety first. Stay informed, take precautions, and keep your health a priority. Thanks for watching.